Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. What are you guys looking for? Bigfoot. Oh, you mean the Sasquatch, believed to roam the forest of the Pacific Northwest? That's him. Yeah, I don't know how much luck y'all are going to have here at Eco Station at the Children's Museum of Houston. But no matter what kind of animals you're trying to find, you're more likely to find signs of the animals. Things like nests, paths, scat, and of course, footprints. Footprints, or animal tracks, can be hard to find. You need the proper ground conditions to get tracks. Soft ground that isn't too wet or too dry. Too much either way and the tracks can't form properly. But when you find them, tracks can provide an amazing amount of information. Tracks can tell you how many animals have passed a spot, the size of the animals, the direction they were going, and most importantly, the type of animal. But did you know that in addition to finding tracks, you can also collect tracks? What? You can do that? Digging the tracks would destroy them. Yeah, how do you expect us to collect them? Simple, we're gonna make a cast. Huh? Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. You'll need cardstock, a paper clip, some plaster of Paris, some water, a container to mix up your plaster of Paris, and shellac. You'll also need a footprint. Before you can make a cast, you need to prepare a print. Make a ring from a long strip of cardstock in the paper clip. Carefully center the track inside the ring and press the ring into the dirt around the track. This will hold the plaster of Paris while it sets. Optionally, you can choose to spray a little shellac into the footprint to help seal it. It isn't necessary, but it can help. Next, prepare the plaster of Paris using the instructions provided, usually adding two parts of plaster of Paris to one part water. Remember that you need to use it quickly after making it, so you'll need to carry the parts with you. Pour the plaster of Paris off to the side of the track, not directly into the track, as the impact of the plaster can damage your track. Pour it slowly to ensure that the plaster properly gets into all the parts of the track. You're going to have to let it sit 30 to 60 minutes before you attempt to remove it. Uh, remember to be careful with it. Plaster of Paris is delicate and it can be easily cracked when you do remove it. I made an example here so you can see what the final product will actually look like. Oh wow, you've seen signs of Bigfoot? Actually, that's my foot. Oh. Are you related to Bigfoot? This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>